The question I received at the conference was more a comparison to the old days, 10 years ago, where 90 percent of our first class seats were given away. And I said, no wonder the industry was having challenges when you're giving 90 percent of your best product in your airplane away for free. So we've, we've metered that back. We still have a substantial amount of our seats that are eligible for upgrade for free in first class. We also at Delta have the most first class seats in the market of any carrier in, in the marketplace. And the upgrade tick for those that want to actually purchase the upgrade is about $125. So it's, it's not a substantial price point for people that will actually want to confirm rather than go through the lottery around an upgrade. When you see people coming in at the basic economy rate, the most basic, how many of those, what percentage are saying, you know what, it's nice that they offered me this price and I may have bought it, but second thought, I want a particular amenity, therefore I'm going to upgrade. Is the, is the take rate on the upgrades a, a little higher than you expected? I'd say it's about 50%. About 50% of those yep. are then moving up to yep. the next one. One last question. Europe swinging positive for mm -hmm. you guys. There's been so much attention to these lower cost European carriers coming into the United mm -hmm. States. Are you noticing an impact? Is it, is, it, is it nibbling away at the edges in terms of taking away traffic? I don't think so. They're, they're stimulating new demand. You know, it's, it's a different product. It's a low cost model. It doesn't have any amenities attached to it. Uh, it's bringing new passengers to the market. But as I mentioned, you know, Europe, particularly and international as a whole, was our best producing uh, entity in the uh, third quarter. So I, I think from my standpoint, it's, uh, it's good for the market to bring that innovation and we compete heavily with them and it's good for co consumers. Ed Bastion, CEO of Delta Airlines on a day when they beat the street on the top and the bottom lines. And guys, you, that passenger revenue for the fourth quarter, that's going to get a fair amount of attention from investors today, expecting it to be up 2 to 4% in the fourth quarter. Back wow. to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.